everybody, it's Glenn, and welcome to the Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You know I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy Hanukkah, uh, whatever holiday uh, you celebrate, and hope you have a, a wonderful New Year, a safe and happy uh, New Year's Eve. So today we're going to be shaving with a brand new razor for the first time. Here it is. It's a uh, Tatera Nordachi. Beautiful, beautiful razor. I got the black one. Love that detail work. We're going to be shaving with Barrister Man's Reserve Fern. We've got the aftershave as well. We are going to be using a uh, brush from uh, Umo Brushes in China. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Matches the soap really well. First, talk about the soap, and again, here it is, Barrister and Man's um, Reserve Fern. Let's open it up. There is the pour label in the back with the ingredients. Somewhat hard um, puck. Mm. This is luscious. Just beautiful. It's, it's more than medium off of the puck. And this uh, soap, fern, was replaced um, by, um, what was it called? Fougère Classique. Fougère Classique. And let me read you the um, scent notes of Fougère Classique. And I believe it's pretty close to what we'll be shaving with today, Fern. Fougère Classique is a richly floral, stunningly opulent assemblage of lavender, oak moss, coumarin, bergamot, geranium, jasmine, lang lang, benzoin, Labdomen, patchouli, heliotropy, musk, and vanilla. Radiantly retro and timelessly sophisticated, this fragrance crafted for royals and nobles, a design that can be best characterized by its original creator, perfumer Paul Parquet. And what Paul said was, if God had given ferns a scent, they would smell like Fougère Royale. Now, Fougère Royale is the um, fragrance that this soap uh, is based upon. Let's give it another whiff. Truly beautiful. I get a lot of florals. Uh, it's a very deep, rich, Floral, I get greens, I get somewhat of a dampness and coolness, really, really nice. So let's talk about the brush for a minute. It is from uh, Umo Brush um, in China. You've got the uh, English on one side, the Chinese on the other. This is a limited edition brush. It's uh, from the Confucianism series. They had about 12 or 14 brushes when they um, produced this. I think there's only one left. They all came in uh, different colors. Just a beautiful design. Um, it has a, uh, a hand-tied 
Badger Knot. This is a Tyrant T4. Just a beautiful brush. Again, there's one left, I believe, on the site. So check it out if that's something you'd like to get. And let's talk a bit about the razor. Just got this razor, first time use. Um, it is a Tatara Nordachi. It is beautiful. I opted for the um, black stainless. Take a good look at that. I just love the design, very sleek. I did get the um, open comb and um, I also got the stand that comes with it. Pretty nifty setup, just beautiful. This is the um, most aggressive of their offerings. Um, not counting the adjustable, which I guess you can get um, any aggression you want. Um, let's take this apart, see what it looks like. Here is the handle. I like that little nub at the end that actually fits very well into um, the plate. Here is the plate. I guess this little T stands for the tarot. And here's the cap. Excited to use this and we'll be um, using a uh, Balzano blade on its third and last use. So let's get the lather made and uh, get the shave going. Okay, face is wet and we're gonna use a little bit of the um, snake oil from the Holy Black. I love this stuff because it's an oil, but it's really not very greasy. Very interesting. Something, something you gotta try. Has a great scent to it as well. Okay, let's take a look at this lather which I think is just gorgeous. There it is. Smells great, let's get it to the face. So, a little more than medium off of the puck um, and still more than medium as I get it on the face. Um, I'll tell you that as I started um, making the lather, the scent just exploded and filled up the bathroom. It's just beautiful. What a well blended, delicious scent this is. My brush is uh, pretty new, but it's breaking in well. A little more water. Very soft tips. And a lot of backbone. Very, very nice brush. Okay, I think we're good. And let's see how this new razor does. 
you take a look at it, plenty of uh, blade exposure here. So, see how it goes. Very, very efficient. Very efficient and I find it very comfortable as well. I can just tell You need to be careful with this. Beautiful weight. For me, I would say it's a step up in aggression from the uh, Mula R41. They got this um, on their Black Friday sale. And I saved 25%. And actually, they have a after Christmas sale going on now. And it's also 25% uh, off. Which is a great deal. Okay, let's get some lather on the face for pass number two. Well, so far, I'm impressed with the razor, impressed with the brush, and impressed with the soap. So what a great hobby this is. You have a chance to meet people, to make friends. And uh, I bring that up because the soap that I'm using today was gifted to me uh, by Aaron. Aaron has a YouTube channel called Double A Shaves and I will Put a link in at the, uh, and I'll put a link in um, on the information page of the um, video. Pass number two. And so we uh, follow each other on YouTube and Instagram, and we realized we live about 30 minutes from each other. Um, in southeastern Pennsylvania. Not far from Philadelphia, not, not far from Wellington. And so we've gotten together a couple of times and we create goodie baskets for each other. We have a nice lunch or dinner, spend some quality time together, exploring each other's um, shave den. So Aaron, thank you very much. I'm really um, enjoying this. And I look forward to um, getting together again 
in the near future. And if any of you folks live near southeastern Pennsylvania and you're interested in uh, meeting up, just let me know. Gonna wet the face a little. And we will lather up for pass number three. So I cannot tell you how incredible this stuff smells. Just a great scent. All started in the late 1800s with Fougere Royale. Okay, third pass. You can actually hear the uh, audio audio feedback. It is no slouch, that's for sure. I, uh, I had uh, two days of growth. And I love how the black looks. It's really, really nice. I hope it holds up well under use um, and the black coating doesn't get uh, chipped off in any way. Well, I'm pretty careful with my shaving tools, so I doubt that that will happen. Okay, let's see how we did. Yep, as usual, just a few uh, touch-ups I have to do, so uh, We'll take care of that right now. Okay, I think we're done. It is um, definitely, without a doubt, a close BBS shave. Fantastic shave. So, if you've watched my channel in the past, you know we don't waste any of that glorious lather that could be left in the bowl of the brush. So we get it on the face one more time. And we do that for a number of reasons. One, you can enjoy the scent a little longer. And this scent is absolutely amazing. Two, it's good for your face. And three, if you've missed any areas, you can easily find them 
and uh, pick them up with this process. But I surely missed nothing with that razor. So let's rinse. Okay. Wow. One of the closest shaves in a long time. So again, that razor is no slouch. And um, very, very, very efficient. Okay, so let's um, get some witch hazel on the face. We're using some Dickinson's witch hazel. This is an unscented, just witch hazel, witch hazel. That's all you get. Let's uh, give it a little, a little air dry. Okay, and now for the splash. Now take a look at this bottle. Really nice. There's, there's a car that you can see. That's a side view in the front. And here's a, in the back of it, a front and rear view of the car. Very cool. Oh yeah, that is wonderful stuff. Just fantastic. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Okay, we used Barista and Mann's Reserve Fern. And Aaron, thank you again so much for the soap. I really enjoyed it. And here is the splash in that incredible bottle with such beautiful artwork. It actually says on the bottle, um, some legends never die. And I guess it's um, referring to this car on the bottle, or the scent, really. Uh, we used a, a, a beautiful um, Umo brush. There it is, with a, um, a T4 Tyrant uh, hand-tied knot. We used um, the Tatara Nordachi Razor. This one is aggressive. I actually feel it now. Definitely aggressive. And um, if you're not a fan of aggressive razors, take a look at their milder version. Um, I can tell you that fit and finish of this razor, impeccable. Just, just beautiful. And, oh yeah, we also used some... Holy Black Snake Oil. And of course, I use my Smiles for Miles Soap Scooper. Thanks, everybody. Have a very safe New Year's Eve, a happy new year, and we'll see you in 2024. Love you all.